Summit County residents do have less than eight hours before a mandatory stay at home order goes into effect for them. ABC 4's Rick Aaron has more on what the order means and if the entire state could be next. Starting one minute after midnight, all of Summit County's 42,000 residents are supposed to stay inside their homes until May 1st, possibly longer. Summit County joins the Navajo Nation area of southern San Juan County as the only areas of Utah under this type of lockdown. Under the Summit County order, the only businesses open will be grocery and convenience stores, restaurants for drive through and takeout only, banks, post offices, and hardware stores. Residents can only venture out for the following essential services healthcare facilities, plumbers, electricians, and auto repairmen, farming, and transportation services. I think everyone's like still super surprised. They're shocked. Uh, I don't think people realize like the, how bad it is. I know that this time next week, the, the hospitals here are going to be completely packed. They're going to be over you know, capacity. Colby Larson's five art galleries on Park City's Main Street will be closed, and his employees will be sequestered at home, as will the Weathers family. We've already been living as if we had a shelter-in-place order, going out only for essentials anyway. So... I think that we were prepared. It's just a little bit different when somebody tells you what you have to do versus precautions that you're taking on your own. So is the entire state soon to follow Summit County's lead with this step? On Tuesday, I asked Governor Gary Herbert about a statewide stay-at-home order, and he said we're not at that point yet. We want to protect the health and welfare of the people, and yet we want to make sure that the economy doesn't completely tank either. So they're both joined together. Uh, we'll be reviewing our... Uh, restrictions that we have in place today. Uh, we'll be doing that ongoing. Uh, there may be some additional issues that we want to talk about in the upcoming days or week. 21 states, including neighboring Colorado, Idaho, and New Mexico, are already under mandatory stay at home orders, a total of more than 200 million people nationwide. In the newsroom, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News.